Hello my dear friend this is Rakesh and in today's videos uh, we will discuss about the one of the favorite interview question that's a string versus string builder and uh, most of the uh, for answering this question most of the guys reply that string is immutable and string builder is mutable I'm fine with this answer so can we prove this programmatically that uh, how the string is immutable and string build string builder is uh, mutable and moreover where does this value is stored when we are uh, storing some value into the string so where does uh, the value is stored it's stored on heap or stack it's stored on heap right so how the memory allocation is getting done on the heap so we will discuss these two points in today's videos that the difference between the string and string builder how the string builder is mutable and st string is immutable and string builder is mutable and how the memory allocation is getting done with the heap so i have created a simple image for you uh, so that let's click to that image here so i have taken a string variable here and I assign the in, in Rakesh string to is and it will get stored in the heap and the address area will be this much for example and when you will do some concatenation in this I did the, uh, I can get the Kumar into the string variable name a new address will be allocated to this whenever you are doing the concatenation new address will be allocated to this and when in, in the third step this is the second step and whenever you in the third step you will do the more concatenation from India I can concatenate Rakesh then Kumar then from India and at the third step when I can concatenate the third um, from India again the new memory allocation is done for the string so if we talk about that immutable string is immutable what is the dictionary meaning of the immutable immutable means which do not change so it is not changing every time every time we are getting the value stored in the new address area it is not affecting the previous value so that's why it is immutable right so let's uh, flip to the visual studio and we will see in the programmatically that uh, how this all thing is happening we will uh, we'll see in this example programmatically in the visual studio so let's move to that and uh, here I have created a simple console application simple console application and here we'll use the unsafe tag unsafe tag uh, is used to whenever you have to deal with the pointers you have to run the code under the unsafe tag otherwise your uh, pointer will not run and whenever you will use the unsafe co unsafe uh, tag over there you have to um, check one option over here go to the properties of the solution and you have to check this option allow unsafe code only then you will be able to build the solution otherwise your solution will not build right so now I take a string variable let me increase the font I take a string variable and assign the Rakesh add as I have mentioned in the image and then I use the fixed keyword it's a here I have used the fixed fixed is the statement which tells the garbage collector not to swap the variable address of the variable right so whenever you are storing some value over here we are instructing the garbage collector by using the fixed keywords so that the movable variable are not being swapped or in the address area we will you will get the exact address area of that particular variable in which you are storing the value so I take the name and I get the um, address area uh, I will get the address area using this P keyword and I cast into in cast it into the int and I did again in the next line I, and then I uh, print it address area of the first name then I in the second line I um, concatenate the Kumar as I have shown in the image then Kumar and then again fixed keyword and uh, I take another variable K and assign um, and get the uh, address area of this name variable Rakesh Kumar now then I can print the Rakesh Kumar address area is in K and then I again can, can concatenate the third string and again use the same keyword name and assign into the new variable and uh, did the same uh, casting of this uh, address area 
and uh, I'll print that Rakesh Kumar from India address area is this much. Now I will run this application. I will build this application. Mm, I am able to build it and now I will run this application. See you get the Rakesh address area is 5466 and its address uh, see all the things. Rakesh is stored on 5466-2756. It's all the three address areas different. Then Rakesh Kumar address area is that's a different thing. Then uh, uh, at the third step, when I did the more concatenation, the address area is different. So every time I'm doing uh, some concat in the string, so I'm getting I'm uh, uh, it's storing the string in the separate address area. So if you are using so in this way we can prove that uh, the string is immutable it is not uh, getting changed and uh, whenever you um, use the string for uh, doing the concatenation it will occupy a huge memory and ultimately your performance will be degraded right so it's a bad thing to use the string for doing the concatenation right so in this way we can prove that string is immutable so let's see that how for the string builder is immutable i have written a commented a code over here i have already written it for the convenience so that we can uh, faster explain the things i have created a string builder and then append first thing up, append second uh, variable um, string and then append another string as i have done in the concatenation in the string right now whenever so this all is happening it's not um, creating any address area it is not assigning any address area to the string variable like uh, string builder is not assigning here i have done the um, concatenation and it, it do not assign any address area like the string uh, like the string when i will do the two string to this as string builder dot two string when i did this at this time the immutable string is generated from the string builder at this time the string builder when this selected line will execute a, a immutable string will be a mutable string will be created and that immutable string that will be similar to the string and uh, um, from these three concatenation we will get one immutable string and one address area will be there for that uh, particular string so i will uh, comment out the above code and uh, i will check only this now string builder although the string builder contain the three or hold the string which was already there in the string but the address area is only one we do not get the different address areas so the same words we have done the concatenation for the same words we have done the concatenation over here in the string builder we are not getting the different uh, address area over here and we will get the only one only one address area for this so in this way the string use of the string builder is faster as compared to the string it do not uh, occupy the much memory and uh, your performance will be much faster apart, uh, apart from the above I want to show one magical thing so I'll comment this what will happen what will happen if I will write I will declare the three string variable and assign the same string to this it's a bad uh, practice it do not ha uh, actually happen it will not happen we do not create we do not assign the same string to the three different variable in the practical approach but let's see how it behave and uh, let's see uh, i'll take the test one and I assign the same string test two same string variable test three same string variable and then assign the same syntax fixed then care a and test one and i pick the value of uh, this a then this b then this c now let's see do the different address area and remember right now i'm not uh, dealing with the string builder i'm just taking care of taking string 
ऑफ मेडिसिन स्ट्रेंज टेस्ट वन टेस्ट टू टेस्ट थ्री ऑल दीज आर पॉइंटिंग टू द सेम मेमोरी एड्रेस वाई बिकॉज वी आर यूजिंग द सेम स्ट्रिंग we are storing the same string so if you are using the same string then the, the different address variable will point to the same memory allocation right the different memory allocation is will not be done but if you will do the concatenation over there then every uh, on every concatenation there will be a memory uh, separate memory allocation and that will uh, really degrade the performance of your application so ultimately in the main goal was there that how to prove that uh, string is immutable so immutable we have proved this and we have done the comparison of uh, done the comparison with the string builder that how the string builder um, with the string when we are dealing with the string builder we are doing the same concatenation we are getting the one address whereas we are dealing with the string then we are getting the different address areas and as continue you will continue with the concatenation that will um, occupy more and more address areas uh, and i have created this sample and uh, i will upload it on somewhere so that um, and uh, uh, in the comment area i will put the link so that you can uh, copy this and you can also play with this code and uh, this will make uh, your more understanding so i hope that uh, this little effort have um, made the clarity regarding the following questions how to prove we have proved programmatically that the string is immutable we have uh, done the memory allocation how the memory allocation is getting done on the heap and uh, we have also co covered the string versus string builder Mm, and mutable versus immutable so if you find this video any helpful then please uh, like or subscribe and thanks a lot for watching this video thank you very much